Hello from Los Angeles. I'm so excited for this vlog. We have two huge announcements for you. One of which is the gender reveal of our baby, which is happening tomorrow. We're having an ultrasound and then we're gonna have a baby blessing, like baby shower with some of our best friends here. I cannot wait. But first today, we have another huge announcement, something we have not told you yet. You know that we have our school bus, our double-decker bus, our van in the UK, and we have another vehicle, something that's very, very special to Louis, mm -hmm. and that is about to have a whole new adventure. So stay tuned, Louis will tell you a lot more about that in a minute. <laughs> but first, we're gonna go and get some snacks that we yeah. can take on a picnic up to the Griffith Observatory. Yeah. <laughs> out my van. <laughs> if you've been following my channel, you'd know all about this van. But I do think this might be one of the first times it's featured on the couples channel, yeah, right? Yeah, I think so. We first got this van in 2015 when we did this amazing trip around Montana. The next couple of years I had a nightmare with the engine. It like kept on blowing up and setting fire and things. It's a 1973 vintage Volkswagen van. So uh, yeah, had some issues, but I love vintage stuff, so it's kind of worth it. But anyway, come 2020, when all the crazy COVID stuff was kicking off, I was like, well, we're not traveling. I'm gonna be in an LA. Why not take on a really fun project? And the engine had broken, so I was like, I need to replace the engine. So I spent three months converting this to electric, putting an electric motor, it's running off Tesla batteries. And it's just been sitting in here in LA and it hasn't had a conversion inside. It's like the original 1970s, like, yeah, the back. Pretty old. The back needs some work for sure. That's a future project. <laughs> but I finally come up with a very exciting adventure to take it on. And I'll let you know all about it later on. I feel like Louis kind of downplayed that a little bit, that he completely self-converted this to electric. Like I remember he would wake up early in the morning, go out, come home super late at night, like covered in oil and dirt and for months, seriously. You put so much into this and it is incredible. I don't know if you can tell, but it's completely silent. I love that. I think it's one of the coolest things. Like when we pull up next to people and they see this vintage van and it's completely silent, when usually vintage cars are like louder than other cars, it's the best ever. So now we are heading to Griffith Observatory and we are currently on the east side of LA. When we lived here, we were living on the west side, but you've never, if you've never been to LA, it's kind of a mission to get anywhere. It's like an hour's drive basically. Um, so we never really used to come over to this side, but- L Literally never. Literally never <laughs> when we lived here. But we did come here when we first ever came to LA. So yeah, it's gonna be so nice to go back. This has got to be one of the most epic views over LA. We've got the Hollywood sign and just the ocean in the distance, all the hills. Wow. This week coming back to LA has been really special because this is kind of like a closing of the chapter for us. We don't know when we're gonna be back again. Yeah, I think this is the last time I'll be here until after we have our baby and potentially maybe until 2024, which seems crazy because we have so many friends here, obviously we lived here for yeah. so long, but yeah, it feels like because the van was always here, like it felt like we had an anchor and now that you're taking the van... Mm. It... Well, I haven't told them what, um, why I'm taking it or anything yet. Okay, so we'll tell you in a second, but it feels like since the van will be leaving LA, it really does feel like we're taking the last of our things out and now we don't know when we'll be back. And yeah, it's like the end of a huge, important, incredible mm. chapter for us. And tomorrow will be the last kind of... A, it is a, a kind of gender reveal, baby blessing, but also it's kind of a goodbye yeah. chance to see all our friends from Venice. And it was such an amazing chapter, even though we're moving into a new chapter and I also love this and I'm very excited about this new chapter, but it was, um, the time we were here was like super special. It goes in seasons like how excited we are to be nomadic and explore and then other seasons where we want to like nest in a bit and like have a home base. And I feel like 
we moved out what like a year and a half ago yeah and we've been nomadic for the last year and a half and now we're both feeling obviously with the baby coming as well like it's really time to nest pretty soon to <laughs> nest and have yeah. a home base and have that uh, and we'll talk about that in the next video yeah <laughs> but i do want to tell you about this trip so the van obviously has been a really really fun project so far but it was mainly just to kind of keep local in la i was running a little podcast out of it um, doing some fun little trips but because we're not going to be in LA anymore and I'm paying to store it here right now I have decided to drive it to New York to the east coast of the US where and, my family lives yeah Rye's family live there and to make it even more difficult <laughs> more of an adventure I've come up with this crazy idea to try and do it fully solar powered I'm very likely not to succeed in this challenge but I kind of like that so I'm actually yeah. going to be daily vlogging it over on my channel <laughs> yeah so uh, and I I'll release like a more in-depth kind of announcement with all the details on my mm -hmm. channel but I just thought it'd be fun for those that don't know about the van <laughs> and that maybe don't even know about my channel uh, it's gonna be really fun Mm -hmm. doing daily videos again something i used to do years ago and what are you going to be doing i'm going to be relaxing <laughs> in new york with my family and i just i love christmas i love getting cozy and like baking cookies and my mom has a boutique in new york so i'll be helping out obviously it's going to be a really busy time mm. for her and to be honest the bus trip that we did a lot of you watched it down to costa rica was significantly more adventurous than i was ready for and there were times when I was like it was just too much and I think um, especially now that I'm pregnant and feeling it more and more I know that I'm not in the mental state to be like up for the great adventure that you yeah. are like Louis loves when things go go wrong he, Th things are gonna go <laughs> yeah, wrong. yeah he almost like I feel like he wants you know the van to break down in the middle of nowhere and he, he loves problem-solving and I love that for you yeah. and that is not where <laughs> I'm at right now how are you feeling about the ultrasound tomorrow and finding out the gender. Yeah, so obviously ending the chapter here, the new chapter of us stepping into parent hers. Mm -hmm. I'm just so excited, but it, yeah. it, it still doesn't feel real. I know, which is why honestly I'm really excited for this. Like I feel like, you know, we, like we've been calling the baby it and it just feels like making it more personal and really being able to help like start picking out names and stuff. It feels like it will kind of solidify a bit more. Also, I'm starting to like really show finally, like where it doesn't just look like I'm bloated all the time. So that and I definitely am feeling more pregnant. Cravings wise, um, I've generally not ha like haven't had any crazy cravings or anything, but literally just now, like I bought soup. I've been craving soup lately. I bought a soup and then I we sat down and I did not want that. So I've just been eating fruit. I just like really wanted fresh fruit. So I'm kind of just listening to my body, seeing what happens. But yeah, there's a lot going on. I'm so excited for tomorrow, obviously to find out, but also just to see all our friends and, and the way that we planned this. Um, that, the reason we're not calling it a baby shower is it's going to be quite different. We're not doing gifts or anything like we're kind of, uh, yeah, I'm calling it a baby blessing or mother blessing because th that's what I want it to be. Just all of our friends coming together and like pouring love and intention over us and just like filling us up so that we're ready to embark on this next journey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> love you. Love you. <laughs>
So I just want to thank GrowWatt for sponsoring today's video. This is the GrowWatt Infinity 1500 portable power station. We've used many portable power stations over the years and they're only getting better and better higher capacity, more lightweight, faster charging, and more affordable. When I was planning this trip in the van, I knew that one of the most important things to have is a battery bank that can charge everything I need and allows me to save all the power in my main batteries for driving to maximize my mileage. So the Infinity 1500 fits that job perfectly. I'll be living out the van the whole trip and it has no outlets. So I need a solution to charge all my camera gear, laptop, and everything else. As you may know, I've always been excited about adventure travel and living in vehicles, but also filmmaking and using tech to tell stories as I travel. So charging equipment has always been something I've struggled with. From when I was living in my minibus 18 years ago, where I ended up melting a battery that I'd rigged up next to the engine, or in my double-decker bus 15 years ago, running a diesel generator to create enough power. Even when my friends and I took the train to China in 2008 and the train had no outlets, I had to wire our extension cable into the ceiling fan to charge our laptops. I've always prioritized having power, and especially as I'll be daily vlogging this whole big trip, I'm glad to have technology now, which makes it easy to have the ability to charge high-powered electric devices on the move, and that's so reliable. So let me tell you more about the GrowWatt Infinity 1500 portable power station. For starters, it has a humongous capacity of 1,512 watt hours and a maximum output peaking at 2,000 watt surge capacity, which is so powerful that it can run things like an air conditioner, a coffee maker, or a hairdryer. It has fast charging capability, so from a wall charge, it can go from zero to 100% in two hours and zero to 80% in just one hour, making it one of the fastest charging power stations in the industry. It also doesn't need a special charging adapter brick and can just use a standard cable straight into an outlet. One of the features I'm most excited about is the two and a half hour solar charge time with up to 800 watts of solar input. Again, making it one of the fastest and highest wattage solar charging power stations in the industry. And basically this entire trip, I'm gonna be charging this on solar, so I am especially grateful for this. It has an array of output ports and even has a wireless charger on the top of the device, so I can just place my phone on the top and it'll always stay charged. In total, there are 12 outlets which can be used at the same time, including two USB-A ports, two USB-A fast charging, two USB-C, four AC outlets and a cigarette lighter output. One of the most impressive things is how lightweight and portable this power station is for the capacity it has. It only weighs 16 and a half kilograms or 36 pounds and with its dual handles, it's really easy to carry. I love that I can monitor the power station from my phone app, either through Bluetooth if it's within range or through Wi-Fi if it has access to a Wi-Fi connection. That means I can check the charge and change settings remotely. It has clever advanced features so that during a power outage it will automatically switch on, which makes it a perfect backup for powering essential devices in an emergency. If you need even more power, you can even daisy chain up to three of these together. If like me, you live out of a vehicle or need a portable high powered system for work or as a backup at your house, and you're looking for an all-in-one power station to keep you charged up, you can check the link in the description for more info. As you follow my trip across the country, you'll see me making the most out of this every single day. And thanks again to GrowWatt for supporting this channel and like I said, it's because of brands like this that we get to do what we do. Right, let's get back to the video. This morning is very, very exciting. We kind of very last minute were saying it'd be really fun to do a gender reveal and we don't know it yet. And our last ultrasound that we had was like two months ago almost. So we just, again, very last minute, like two days ago, booked an ultrasound for this morning. And we're gonna go and one, see the baby for the first time in two months. And it's completely different now. It's like. I don't even know how much bigger it is than last time. It's the size we saw of a it. mango. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully find out the gender. <laughs> we see the heart. <laughs> It is perfect. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm gonna have you close your eyes so I can look for the gender, okay. and then we'll have you open it again later. Okay. okay. Wow. See, and then maybe it has a little hand up like this. Yeah. Oh my oh. gosh. 
The craziest of seeing it move. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Look at it squirming around. Yeah. This is the secret. That's the secret. Okay, this is, this <laughs> contains the gender. Yeah. Okay, perfect, thanks. <laughs> How are we not gonna look at it for the next few hours? I know. <laughs> How cool is that? I'm kind of speechless still. That's crazy. Wait, it's, let's look at the picture. It's again. moving so much. I know. <gasps> look at that little baby. <laughs> not so little anymore. People keep asking, like, how do you feel being pregnant? And I was saying, I guess because I haven't felt a lot of symptoms, especially that, like since going into the second trimester, and then we haven't had an ultrasound in two months. So I was like, I don't know, I kind of almost like forget <laughs> sometimes. But this, and then as soon as we find out the gender, I think that's gonna like, then we can really start picking out names and that feels like really real, you know? Yeah. I am literally like buzzing with excitement right now. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad you guys have a space that you feel excited and safe to be in for this. Is this the first baby shower in your house? <laughs> yeah, and I'm happy it's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret today? The secret is that we have no idea what the gender is, and Justin's gonna be the first person to find out. And he's gonna hopefully pick the right confetti. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's gonna be very confusing. No, no pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you have you one, have you have right one job. It's very important. What are those for? So we're gonna do a little paint your own onesie station with some fabric paint. And yeah, it'll just be so cool to have the baby wearing something from each person. Justin, this is it. About to find out. I'm literally shaking, I don't know what. I know what it is. Can everybody gather outside? We've got an exciting announcement tonight. We asked her to write down the gender in an envelope <gasps> and Justin has read it. <gasps> Justin's the only, the only one, one who knows. knows. Oh, really? You guys don't know. Just, we don't know. We don't know. You guys so don't know? I watch <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Everyone, what they think. Okay. All right, let's take a vote. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Boy. 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 Girl. Yeah. I think boy. girl. Boy. <laughs> it's definitely a boy. Boy. Twins. It's a girl. And girl. I think it's a boy. Boy. Yeah, it's a boy. Boy. It's a boy. Yeah. I think it's a boy. Yeah. Well, just just to be different, I'll, I think it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Chris, like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Yeah. Everyone, count us down. Three, Three two, two, one. one. But can then now. next time we can have a go. <laughs> okay. okay. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> it's racing. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, it is. It is, right? <laughs> Why was so excited? We're having a freaking boy. Wow. Congrats. Let's say a message um, to the baby. To the, oh, to the baby. Okay, I am excited for you to experience life with two of the coolest parents ever. They are so cool. Because they are so weird the way that they live their lives. They're so unique. And you're going to have the most baller life, just so you know. It's epic. Congratulations for choosing these people as your parents. They're the coolest parents in the world. Wow. Oh <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ooh, wait, I'm gonna have one of you say so it's called foreshadowing. Yeah. Alter space for the parents to sit and receive the baby blessing and just receive our prayers and just do a little ritual together. <laughs> We're going to be handing out a little bead each. The bead is an opportunity for you to place your intentions into a physical object that can then go with Raya and Louie on their travels and through Raya and her labor. As we prepare these two, our dear friends, for a journey into a whole new chapter of life, into the experience of actually raising this baby into a part of our community someone that we can see as a friend and another part of the family, right? Like we can bridge that gap from being baby and guides and guardians to being friends. So we're going to start with some breath work. And as you're breathing, we're focusing on drawing life force prana energy into our bodies and also into the space to bless up Raya and Louie in their journey. What is a prayer that each of us can offer for how it's gonna go, how it's gonna feel, what it's gonna look like, what it's going to activate? I'm just gonna share the little blessing in the prayer. Oftentimes we wanna just get so heady, especially when we get closer and closer to labor and just knowing that your body holds all of the wisdom and all of the knowing. And my prayer is that you also stay as committed and as loving as you are to each other, first and foremost, and it's a relationship that, in my opinion, really allows the family to thrive. For as long as Raya and Louis are the priority and are the center and the pillars and the holders of the household, whatever the household is, even if it's the planet. We live in this diversity of cities and countries and cultures, and that's like, to me, such a, an incredible template to bring in a new soul and human being. We get caught up in the statement, this too shall pass when we think of hard times and how those hard moments are also fleeting, but so are the good ones. Happy moments like this too shall pass. So slow down, try to catch as much of it as you can when you feel alone, open your arms, and prepare yourself to receive a bounty of love from this incredible being that you're creating right now. We'll be there to shower you and remind you of how special it is to have you as parents, who someday, God willing, will take care of you. And we're all here for you too through those times if anything comes up, if you need someone to talk to or anything, we're all here, so love you guys. At the times where it gets hard, where the baby's crying, you don't know what to do, embrace that. That's part of the story. We see our parents as our parents, as kids. We don't see them that they're actually learning and trying to teach us at the same time. I want you three to receive all of the warmth and comfort and safety and compassion that you guys bless the rest of the world with mm -hmm. without hesitation and also planting those seeds which i know that you will of all the magical and amazing things that the next generation is going to be able to do and achieve just by being who they came here to be and knowing that you are both stewards for that and that you simultaneously have to do nothing just be and exist and you know embrace them and love them unconditionally through their journey and learn from them at the same time as you teach them and you hold that space for them to blossom into the person that they came here to be. That your 
partnership becomes such a team that you can really just hold each other and count on each other. And that baby's a gift. They're the gift for you. So just embrace it and, and really know that every moment they all say it, it's, it's precious. It's never a wrong time to say I love you. I love you to each other, I love you to your baby, I love you because you forgot the diapers at the grocery store, I love you because you woke up this morning and just you glow when you rise and that baby is full of love, it's just gonna be like oozing out of love, so. I love you guys. My heart feels so full knowing that we have such a amazing couple and then community paving the way for what future humanity gets to look like. Like it's rewriting the story of so many generations of what should be done and this is such a free way of living that you have. It's like this kid is so lucky. <laughs> oh my god, the coolest parents ever. <laughs> so many blessings. Thank you for paving the way for so many, showing us what's possible. It's the most present, in the moment you'll ever be, and yeah, I'm so excited for you guys. You guys are more than prepared and ready. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you are so held by this community, and anything that you guys need is provided for 10x. Um, and you guys are, are leading the way. And <laughs> More humans in the tribe. So great for you guys. You! Bless. So deeply grateful to have all of you in our lives and uh, yeah, just so excited to embark on this next adventure. When we left, like, I was definitely scared that, that things would change and that our connections would not be as strong and coming back like a year and a half later and Andre opening his home to us like this and all of you showing up even though we we're always send invites so last minute <laughs> and I just feel like the best parts of who we both are were built in the last two years that we were here and that was all of you like the best parts of, of both of us were like all the little fragments of you that we got through all the conversations and meals and movies and games just every every moment we shared with you guys like we both talk about all the time that our time in LA was like when we both blossomed and had the biggest spiritual growth and and now like we're ready to to show up in the best possible way for this baby because of all of you so it feels like you're all like the building blocks for the love that is gonna raise this child. So thank you. The last little words I just wanna say is to me, the greatest quality in any human being is that when you're in someone's presence, they leave and they're better. Like they feel uplifted, they feel wiser, they feel more empowered. And I remember for Lucas and I, when we first met you, was the day we moved into your house. And you just welcomed us in. Like, it was nothing. Like, it's just so innate to you both to be so incredibly welcoming and generous. It's actually mind-blowing and so rare. And everywhere you go, I see you doing that. Like, it's just so in you to level people up and invite people to see what they're capable of. You've inspired every single one of us, so thank you.